Some breaking news now. We have a shocking report that a pupil from a school in Salford is alleged to have been seriously injured during an incident involving a firearm. No further information is available at this time. We will update you as soon as any more details emerge. It started off like any other day. It was the last week of term, we were getting ready to put on a show. No one knew why, but there was always trouble between the three groups. Have all got it? Yeah. Next move. Tap up, tap down, round and round. Okay. Can we go from top? Sure. You see Shelly's shoes today? I know, they were awful. You know, this mascara really makes my eyelashes look dead long. They're long anyway. Thanks. Is this blush the right colour? It pops with cheekbones. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Thank you. Hiya. Hi. Hiya. I just reached my 900 follower on Twitter. Oh, well done. I got 305. I've got 37. No. I get my followers to follow you. Thank you. So, how's your song going on? It's alright, we have a couple of lyrics. Oh, let's hear them. Yeah, I want to hear them. Okay. Alone, I was walking home. I looked at the dark sky. In my head, I was wondering why. I looked at your last tweet. Yes, I looked at your last tweet. Was standing in the person we first met. And your tweet said. That's all we have so far. Isn't it me, not Matt? I don't know. Um, he, his last tweet said had a really good lesson in science. Oh, well, we'll just have to change it. Yeah. Excellent. We'll end with a roll down and down and one vertebrae at a time. Excellent. Well done, Tony. Bend your knees. Good. And bring yourself up slowly, slowly. Yep. Last thing to come up is your head. Excellent. And now we'll play around with some of the words. Um, Sarah, what's your line? Here comes two from the house of Montego. So I'd like for you to whisper it and go. Here comes two from the house of Montego. Excellent. And now let's bite down on the ends of the words and go. Here comes two from the house of Montague. Excellent. Let's start Act 1, Scene 1. So, I went to go get some oil from the oil house. And I seen this old guy and he was so slow. So I walked up right next to him and I said, Yo! Hey, Jay. From the beginning. So I walked up next to him and I said, Thy so slow. They need thy oil. <laughs> All right, make your entrance. Here comes two from the house of Montego. I'll bite my thumb at them. You bite thy thumb at me, sir? I do bite my thumb, sir. You bite thy thumb at us, sir. No, sir, I don't bite my thumb at you, sir. Farts so. Part fools? You know not what you do. I do, but keep the peace. Peace. I hate the word. Just as I hate all Montagues. <sighs> what seemed like an ordinary day was about to become a nightmare. Because that morning someone made a choice. And some choices have very serious consequences. And so what started off like an ordinary day certainly didn't end like one. Oh, 
Ik sta heel wat. Ja, ja, ja. Oh, hij is mooi, ja, ja. de sweat. Hoi, stop het. Who do you think you are to saying that to Jack's girlfriend? I've not said anything to Jack's girlfriend. Come on, Zoe, just leave it. Why are you getting involved? Yeah. Why are you getting involved? Because she's my mate. She's my sister. Can't you just leave it till after school? No, do it now. Guys, teacher! Come on, Zoe, for you! It was never meant to be used. It was just for show, really. To show off, you could say. Simple. But things don't always work out that way. Are you coming out tonight? Are you coming out tonight then? Yeah, yeah. Going yeah, Subway then we'll go to Subway. We're getting all the fat girls out. Hey, Jay! Yeah, we're about to. We're going to Subway. What? Where do you think you're going? I said 2.30. We're starting. Yeah, boys, quick fight. Yeah, how do you get your phone out and film it? Look, I'm staying right here. Right now, right then. Come on, Zoe, don't. Yeah, Zoe, it's not worth it. You don't know when to shut up, do you? Come on, Sarah, just stay up. Sarah, stop. You don't understand. Please stop. Leave it, Jack. It's nothing to do with you. But, but, Your lot are just as bad anyway. Please stop. To see how this Jack. It was his dad's gun. During the investigation, they found out why he had it. He was bragging to his mates, trying to impress him. There was a rumour going round that his dad was hard on him. Always told him he needed to toughen up, be a hard man. His dad was known to be involved with a criminal gang. So Jack thought he had something to prove. But in the end, all he proved was just how fragile life is.